Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial of Kato Plugins. In my last video, I have shown you how you can use variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin on your product page. But today I am going to show you how you can activate and use variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin on your shop page. If you still didn't check my last video, then please do check my video. Video link will be given in the description box. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. If you already have the free version of the plugin variation swatches for WooCommerce but you don't have the premium version then go to the link gettoplugins.com Click on plugins and click on variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin Now purchase this plugin Once you purchased the plugin then download the zip file of the plugin After that navigate to plugins then add new Click on upload plugin and choose the downloaded file of the plugin. Now install the plugin. Once the installation is completed, then activate the plugin. Now go to the shop page. So before activating the premium version of the plugin variation searches for WooCommerce, my shop page was like this. So let's refresh the site. So after activating the premium version of variation searches for WooCommerce plugin, the swatches are available in the shop page. Now I'll show you the uses of variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin in the shop page. To show the uses of variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin in the shop page, head to the backend and navigate to swatches. Go on archive or shop. Now disable the option show swatches on archive or shop page and save the changes. Go to the shop page to see the result. So you can see the swatches are disappeared from the shop page. Again head to archive or shop settings. Click on reset all to get back to the default settings. Now again go to the shop page and select a variation to show the add to cart option. So currently the swatches position is after add to cart button. But you can set the swatches position before add to cart button. To do so again head to archive or shop settings. Select the option before add to cart and save the changes. Now go to the shop page. Reload the page to see the change. So here is the result. Now swatches are set before the add to cart button. You can notice currently swatches are aligned in left position. If you want to change its position then go back to shop or archive settings and select right for swatches align. Save the changes and head to the shop page. After reloading the current page, you will notice swatches are aligned in right. You can also set the alignment to center. Now if you hover over swatches, you can see tooltip option is enabled for the swatches. If you don't want to show the tooltip on your shop page, then head to shop or archive settings and remove the check mark on the option enable tooltip. Save the changes and get back to the shop page and reload the page. Hover over swatches. So now tooltips are not visible. Select any variation and you will notice an option named clear. If you don't want this clear option on your shop page, then from the settings, uncheck the option show clear link on archive or shop page and save the changes. Go to the shop page and reload the page. Now select a variation. So you can see clear option is not available right now. Now go back to the settings page. Try to change the item height and width to make the items of variations smaller or bigger in archive page. I will change both the height and width to 50 pixels. Save the changes and go to the shop page. Reload the page. So the variation items become bigger than before. Go to the settings page. If you want, you can change item font size from here. I'll show the remaining shop or archive settings in my upcoming videos. In your shop page, you can see color and size these two attributes are available. And in your product page, you have also the color and size attribute. Let's assume in your shop page, you only want to show the size attribute. 
So variation searches for WooCommerce plugin have a special attribute setting for this type of requirement. That setting is catalog mode. So give a check mark on the option show single attribute. And you'll see an option of choosing attribute. These attributes are the global attributes that are created on the global attribute page. So select size attribute and save the changes. Go back to the shop page and reload the page. So you can see in the shop page only a single size attribute is available. But if you go inside the product page, you'll notice still both the size and color attribute are available. But in the shop page, you'll notice for the first product, size attribute is not available. So go inside this product and click on edit product. Navigate to attributes. So you can see this product is made with custom product attribute. Now navigate to searches settings. You can see from catalog mode attributes, global attributes are selected by default. So in the shop page, only the global attributes will be visible. So if you want to show the custom product size attribute for this product, then select size from catalog mode attribute. Now save the changes. And go back to the shop page. Reload the page. So you can see size attribute is also available for this product. You can also show only the color attribute in this shop page. So select color from choose attribute and reload the page. So in the shop page only the global color attribute is visible. But in the product page, both the color and size attribute are available. But for the second product, color is not visible. So go inside the product. You'll notice color attribute is not connected with this product. Instead of color, pattern attribute is connected with this product. So if you want to show pattern attribute for this product in the shop page, then click on edit product. And navigate to swatches settings. Select pattern from catalog mode attribute. Save the changes and go back to the shop page. Reload the page. So now for this product, pattern attribute is also visible. Now it's time to show you the next settings. If you want to see the attribute variations, then you need to click on every variation, right? And after that, images will change according to the variation. But instead of on click, if you select on hover from the option catalog mode display event, then you will see if you hover over the variations, images are changing accordingly. So to see the variations, no need to click on any image. Try to notice another thing that is currently if you click on any variation, then nothing is happening. But if you give a check mark on the option linkable attribute, then from the shop page you will click any variation and it will take you directly to the product page. And you will notice same variation is showing in the product page that I have selected in the shop page. Let's assume you don't want to show all the variations of the attributes in the shop page. In this case, you can limit catalog mode attribute display from here. So I'll give a limit of 2 and save the changes. Now if you reload the shop page, you will see only two variations are showing in this page. And if you want to show the remaining variations, then click on here. It will directly take you to the product page and you will be able to see all the variations. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the notifications of the latest videos. If you have any query, please write it down in the comment section. Thank you.